so we are going to make a hoodie okay we are going to attach our yarn right here on the corner so get your yarn and attach first of all we are going to make chain one okay and we do uh, we are going to do sorry sorry about that we're going to do attach the yarn and make chain one and we are going to do single crochets all the way okay so we are going to do single crochets single crochets single crochets all the way okay so I will get you at the end I have reached at the end okay so from here here. So I have reached at the end and we are going to do chain three. So we, we are sorry, sorry, sorry. So we are going to turn our work and we are going to do our V's. So this chain is three counts as one double crochet. So counts as this chain is three counts as one double crochet. So chain two in the same make make our V. So this is one V. We skip one, two into the third, we make our V again. Okay. Skip one, two, three, we make our V again, chain two. Okay. One, two, three, into the third, make our, our V again. We count one, two, three, into the, one, two, into the third, make our V. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay. We count one, two, three into the third make our double crochet chain two double crochet so this is our pattern for now i will see us here here where we, we ended okay so i have reached to the corner and uh, make a double crochet chain three we turn our work so this is a, a, a this chain is a is a double crochet so we come here we begin opening our brackets 
so we start our pattern again what we have been doing chain one two double crochet oh no 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 we are doing three three double crochet okay chain one in the same three more double crochet two three we close we close our bracket a bracket here okay then front post okay we start one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet okay we know this pattern already chain one then three more double crochet in the same V right then we close with a front post we open with a front post in in the mid row we put three double crochet I hope I'm not speedy too speedy but we know this pattern already chain one three more double crochet so let me come back when you have reached here so I'm remaining with one V to make the shell stitch make one shell so that's one that's two that's three chain one one two three and on top of this chain we are going to make a normal double crochet okay one two three we turn our work this counts as of course as our double crochet so so make one more double crochet here and we go here to make our v-stitch chain two okay run to the middle like we are doing one two chain two double crochet okay we know how to make this by now yeah, in this in this uh, skip t chain we make a v we go to the middle of our chain we make a v stitch okay go in the middle make a v stitch so we're going to do like this until we reach here so i will show you what we are going to do next we are continuing with the part so i'm at the end 
them to the, at the end of our row uh, you can see here we started with uh, two two double crochet uh, this chain and this double crochet so we shall end with two double crochet here in the corner here and on top of this chain okay so this will be our double crochet and on top of this chain we shall make a double crochet make chain three okay we turn our work like this okay so this is our first this is our second so we go here continue with our pattern in in the in the v's three double crochet chain one three double crochet one more time you open with a front post in the V one two three chain one one two three you close with a front post okay so we know uh, this pattern by now we are going to, to continue with our pattern okay I'm going to continue with our pattern until uh, I think I'm going to do 11 inches or more okay so uh, we, we are going to keep doing we are going we are going to keep doing this okay we are coming here we do a front post inside this we are going to do three three okay three double crochet chain one three double crochet we cross with a front post then we come here we open with a front post three double crochet in the middle here chain one in the same stitch we add three double crochet so we are going to keep doing until we reach here when we reach here we do our last two double crochet on this this double crochet okay on top of this and on top of this chain to make our line straight okay so we are going to keep after these two two double crochets we make chain three and turn we make our our v's okay until we have the height of our hoodie okay until we have the height okay. of our hoodie okay. all right see you when i have uh the height of my hoodie okay 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 yeah this is our hoodie i hope you are able to see it okay so I have finished the hoodie and we are going to join it okay so I'm going to join
from here to here okay so I am going to use um, single crochets to join but 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 you can use there are other options you can use a yarn needle to join mm -hmm. you can use slip stitches to join so any that is easier for you but as for me I'm going to use single crochets okay and here we go here 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 we go get your crochet and make sure when you you are attaching or you stitching your your poncho your hoodie okay make sure it is on the wrong side okay so that when you put it on the stitches are not showing so we are going to work on a wrong side of the poncho I hope you'll be able to see it properly and we are going to start right away me bring closer 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 So we are going to get this on top of this that we made and slip stitch. Okay. So every stitch gets a single crochet. Okay, so you come here in this, and the next is this. You make a single crochet, come in the next, make a single crochet, come in the next make a single crochet okay in the next make a single crochet so we are going to single crochet all the way to this point so whatever method you're using make sure you have reached this side um, then tie your tighten the end and within the end I will see you when I've finished uh, we we'll see how to go about our ribbing of in the sides okay see you there so I am coming to the end of uh, 
our single crochets or stitching our hoodie and this last um, they are three okay I'm going to to do them together okay this is very hard but so I have four four loops and I'm going to get them all sing uh, one chain chain one okay one chain and we cut our yarn give a little longer tail to weave in the ends after and tighten it okay so you can see how it has turned out great yeah I have tried not good at this but uh, I I like I like using these uh, single crochet while stitching because it is so fast it is faster than uh, using a weave needle using uh, uh, a yarn needle and using slip stitch so don't mind about this it will not show inside so we are going to let me show you how it has turned out on the inside okay you can see it has turned out marvelous and this is our hoodie this is our hoodie yeah this is our hoodie it is so beautiful okay it is so cute so cute so cute so we are going to work on this the endings and our hoodie will be done our hoodie and the whole poncho will be all done okay this is so nice I am in love with this stitch and I promise you I'm going to also make a blanket a baby blanket a very nice size it is you can see it is very soft and comfortable so I'm going to make a baby set uh, for the newborn I'm going to make a blanket and uh, yeah I'm going to make a baby blanket in this stage so if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe me crochet uh, also on TikTok and Facebook we have a Facebook page knee crochet and collections uh, literally we are using same names okay knee crochet and collections so search for us uh, search for my page and like share and comment okay so this is our hoodie and we are going to start on our finishing all the ribbing okay okay see you there okay we are going to count you are seeing this middle this that was separating um, our corner here is our corner here okay we are going to count 
how many shells one two three and we start here okay so get your get your tools and we begin on our ribbing make chain one you are first of all going to first of all we are going to do double double crochets no single crochets okay we are going to do single crochets all the way okay so we shall put one one um, one single crochet one you can put either here or up here whatever way that is easier for you but for me what is easier for me is this okay this is easy for me so we're going to insert one single crochet until we reach here on this our three chains that we are making so when we reach here we shall be putting two two double crochet in each okay two double crochet in one one row that we are making previously but for here we are going to put one in each okay So here we shall put two. Here two. Two. going to put two two all the way okay so I will see you at the end so we're going to make um, when you reach here count okay we counted one two three and we started here so we are going to also count here one two three one two three so we shall start here in the third here. okay so we are going to come all around all around all around up to here put a stick a stitch mark here um, then we are going to stop here, okay? Let me pull out this one. So we shall stop here and we we'll continue. Okay? So see you. So we are done. I've counted seven stitches from here 
and seven stitches from where we started so from this middle seven stitches up to this side seven stitches up to this side okay so make chain three and we turn our work and um, Let's slip stitch up to this side. Okay. Sorry for this. Let's work on it first. So I'm going to slip stitch. Sure, they are a bit loose. We are going to slip stitch all the way to the other side. slip stitching so that we go to the other side where we started from and here we are so make chain the room And we are going to do oh God. we are going to do double crochets okay this is a bit tight we are going to do double crochets until we reach where we our single crochets stopped yeah for me they stopped here so we're going to do double crochets all around until we reach here okay see you So I have reached We are going to do chain 3 We turn our work And we are going to do Okay, front and back post Okay From back you do from behind okay and front I think this is the same front is the same pressed what is a little bit tricky is the back so from where you, you are holding your your hook you pass behind come and go behind then you pass behind you literally make it from behind okay while this one you make it from in front so 
back front pass behind work it from behind okay that is i think the best that i can explain on back and front so front back so we are going to continue our pattern of front and back until we reach here okay i will see you all right so you do i've finished the other round uh, we are going to do chain three okay where there is a front post okay put a front post where there is a back post put back post front back front back three loops on the hook on the hook sorry <laughs> pull through two and pull through two okay three pull through two pull through two Pass behind three loops, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so we are going to cook to keep. <laughs> I think I'm getting tired. We are going to keep doing like this back, front, and back, front, and back till we reach this corner. Okay. And um, you will do the rounds that you wish to. I think I will do three to four. Yes, three to four rounds. And yeah, our our poncho will be ready. So see you after I'm done with my rounds. Okay. See you.